classified by authority of the SCP Foundation Overseer Council. This document and all associated documents are the property of the SCP Foundation and are subject to the classification requirements and restrictions therein. This document may or may not contain lethal memetic defense measures. Attempting to access or disseminate this document without proper and sufficient authorization is punishable by death. Item number SCP-6062 Security Level 2 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Danger Assigned Site Area 179 Site Director Director Joseph Barrow Research Head Researcher Angela Stars Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures SCP-6062 is to be kept in a modified containment cell located in Secure Facility Area 179. A plexiglass divider and intercom system have been installed for communication. SCP-6062's containment chamber is to be cleaned once a week and all waste is to be transported to Area 179's Biology Department where it is to be either incinerated or distributed to other Foundation research institutions for study purposes at the discretion of their department head. All personnel making physical contact with SCP-6062, including weekly cleaning, are to wear Foundation-issued insulated hazmat suits. Description SCP-6062 is an entity composed of a collection of 13 intertwined brown rat specimens, bound together at the tail by an unidentified adhesive substance. Curricularly, the non-anonymous phenomenon of rats becoming intertwined at the tail is known as a rat king. While most specimens making up SCP-6062 are bar anomalous effects indistinct from their ordinary counterparts, several rats are affiliated with injuries or ailments, broken bones, heavily mutilated facial features, and missing limbs have been observed, though these conditions do not impair functionality of the entity. It is hypothesized that these specimens share a collective consciousness that aids in mobility, sustainability, and cognitive capabilities. SCP-6062's movement is composed of each specimen acting in tandem to move in a certain direction. On occasion, mobility can become unrefined, as if each specimen is pointing the entity in separate directions. SCP-6062 is capable of speech, despite possessing none of the organs required, and demonstrates an understanding of the English language. When SCP-6062 speaks, it uses the mouth of each specimen, making its whole to do so, allowing for amplification. Its voice has been described as shrill and high-pitched, while its personality is delusional, contemptuous, and vulgar. SCP-6062 self-identifies as King Matthew Splondus the 18th. SCP-6062 has been found to harbor at the time of writing, 82 different infectious diseases, 70% of which has not been observed in animal vectors prior to SCP-6062, and is capable of acting as a vector for zoonotic, a disease transferring from an animal to a human. Transmission of infectious pathogens while SCP-6062 may demonstrate mild signs and symptoms of the diseases it carries, the entity is immune to any lethal effects. SCP-6062 has been observed to harbor malaria, Lyme disease, West Nile, several manifestations of plague, salmonella, smallpox, and over 30 unidentified viral pathogens estimated to be prehistoric in age. While pathogens carried out by SCP-6062 are conventional in nature, they are considerable more potent than would be expected, resulting in a higher chance of transmission. Pathogens within SCP-6062 continue to be discovered at an irregular rate. Addendum 6062-1 Discovery SCP-6062 was discovered on 2018 
April 17th in Brandy, Pennsylvania, a small suburban development after the town had contracted an outbreak of leprosy. The foundation was notified of this incident and promptly dispatched an assessment detail. A vaccination source from SCP Beep was utilized to cure affected residents. The following is an audiovisual transcript of a recording taken by Dr. Amy Fubber and researcher Angela Stars during the brandy containment effort. The pair were searching a storm drain for irregularities as part of the routine search of the area. Begin log. Dr. Fubber and researcher Stars dressed in protective hazmat suits, navigate the narrow, subterranean area on their hands and feet. They crawled single file, unable to fit otherwise. Rubber leads, with a flashlight attached to her head to offer faint illumination. Beneath them is a small stream of clouded brown water. <coughs> Stay down here! It's a sewer, Amy. What did you the Put in freshener out? Maybe light a few candles? You should pitch it to the water company. A sponge-like brown cluster is seen growing on the lower right corner of the pipe. The hell? Looks like a tumor. Let me just grab a sample and... Ho! Oh! Hello, we're with the CDC. We're taking samples. SCP-6062, Squarey's interview, moving in in uncontrolled, indecisive manner, darting from one side to the next. A rat king? That certainly is odd. I'll send a message to command quick. Let them know we have an entity. Bite your tongue, peasant, for I am the rat king, and you have entered my domain. SCP-6062 walks into a wall before reorienting itself. Stars? You're the PR girl. You want to take this one? Bubba positions herself to the side of the pipe, allowing Stars to lean forward and offer SCP-6062 a better view of her. Bubba devotes her attention to observing the brown growth, preparing for collection. Of course, uh, how do you prefer us to address you? Ah, let's see. Your Majesty, Your Highness, Your Excellency, and my Lord, work as honorifics in day-to-day -day conversation. For formal titles, I usually go by Bearer of the Bad Blues, The Scourge of Society, Rat Man, The Eradicator of Wellness, String Cheese, and Clint Rat Eastwood. Yes, these are my favorite titles. And what shall I call such finely crafty examples of your crude species? Okay, my name's Angela, and this is Amy. We're here with... Ooh, such foul, exotic names! As to be expected for the kind, yes. I do not remember inviting less vermin concubines to my chambers, but if you insist on copulating with me, you may undress now. Your suits of armor may be strong, but nothing is impenetrable, my ladies. Dr. Ferber turns away. Excuse me? Uh, I believe you're mistaken, Your Majesty. You didn't send for, uh... An SCP-6062 specimen begins coughing. After a prolonged effort, Regurgit takes a webbed green piece of phlegm. Apologies, can... A second SCP-6062 specimen coughs, wheezing and gasping for air. It regurgitates a stream of blood. Continue. Uh, better collect that too. N no worries. We're here collecting samples for scientific research. Is this your home? Why? My domain is wherever my large ironclad boots tread. This is my kingdom, and also over there, and over here as well. I have assimilated many lands into my empire, but I am a fair monarch. I shall allow you less of vermin passage into my realm under the pretenses that you agree to dedicate the rest of your years in service to, to me as rats. I'm afraid we can't do that, your highness, you see. Then there will be no such pleasantries, ape. 
SCP-6062 launches forward and attempts to bite Star's facial area, but is hindered by the hazmat suit's helmet. The entity's query, squealing and clawing at the pair as they attempt to reposition themselves to move out of the tunnel. The two begin crawling in the opposite direction they came, but SCP-6062 continues its assault, attempting to chew through the right leg of Weber's suit to little effect. Weber voice activates her Bluetooth earpiece communicator and connects to top side command. Dr. Weber, you are now connected to SCP-5. Yo, can you get a containment specialist over here when we get up in a few minutes? Maybe a cage or something? There's a weird freaking mouse thing and it's trying to either kill or screw us. We have suits, so it's not a... Hey! SCP-6062 crawls up Weber's back and onto her face covering. Four specimens decapitate onto Weber, while two others simultaneously regurgitate in a known black pus. I am a rat! A rat! Little bastard! Weber grabs SCP-6062 and swats away, causing it to scurry ahead to stars. SCP-6062 launches onto her left thigh and begins coughing. Uh, yeah, sure, well, I have something for you. And no. Following containment at Area 179, Dr. Weber and researcher stars were examined. Despite wearing protective clothing, they had both contracted a strain of rubella. Both had been vaccinated against the disease as children. Using the medicine distributed during the brandy effort, they were quickly cured. Shortly after, an interview with SCP-6062 was conducted. Research of stars was chosen due to a specialization in psychology and past record of successful communication with anomalous entities. Research of stars enters the containment chamber, reinforced plexiglass, outfitted with an intercom system, separate SCP-6062 cell from the interrogation room which had been decorated with shavings, tubes, and platforms. Inside, SCP-6062 is attempting to jump onto a platform, though it keeps faltering backwards and ramming a portion of its head into a wall. Phlegm and unidentified viscous substances coat the walls and surfaces. Your Highness, Stars curtsies before sitting at the intercom table. SCP-6062 scurries to the microphone connected to its cell. Release me at once! I do enjoy the amenities, but not when I'm being courted by odorous, incestuous apes! Confound those platforms! Why did they compel me to climb? You are entertained, though. Oh, can you state your name for the record? It's such a thing I have to do. My name? You wouldn't ask Jesus right Christ that, would you? It's for King Matthews Brontus the Eighteenth, ruler of all rats and bringer of death. An SCP-6062 specimen with a mutilated face makes a distressed vocalization and regurgitates a small unidentified insect covered in blue phlegm. At a period of time, the insect reanimates itself and walks away. Note, upon further investigation, the insect could not be found. Thanks, uh, now I've been meaning to ask, there's going to be no punishment for being honest. So, please be truthful with me. What were you doing in Brandy, in those sores where we found you? Worry not, worry not. A king is always honest. I was there to conquer, of course, to bring war upon the lesser villain, as I have so many times prior. So many plagues, so many pandemics, all orchestrated by me and carried out by my underlings. I believe this instance was about of leprosy, wasn't it? Or according to my plan, leprosy. But yes, were you aware of what leprosy does? Hmm. Of course, leprosy does. Very bad things are not good, so it can hurt the ape men by making them die until they are killed. I think it's splendid. Okay, okay, and what about the part where they turn into sheep? That's... that's why I do it. That's my favorite part. I sit back and watch them become as white and hairy as a snow creature. 
They crawl on the ground, writhing in pain, going bah! A jolly good show indeed. Never see doesn't turn people into sheep, your excellency. I made that up to see if you knew what we were talking about. Then I shall toss you in the moat to let the mud monster nip at your toes for centuries on end. Wait. Large with boil appears on a specimen of SCP-662. It's well in size before reaching a third of SCP-662's mass. The boil pops, spring to containment chamber in an off-white hardening pus. Ah, oh, that was good. Okay, so you know you can cause disease, correct? Many of them. But you don't know what they do. We discovered a lot of strange things in your genetic makeup. Can you explain? I am the king of the rat. Sounds all right. Why do you dislike humans? It was a human who disfigured me so. When me was just we, he tied me up and made they into I. Do not be aghast, I said this turn of offense had inspired me to seek revenge on the lesser vermin of the surface world. Yes, it was a good thing that this happened. A rat may slay another rat in combat, but will a rat challenge a rat who has many rats? Now you see how my power came to be. That sounds horrible, sir. Do you know who make you like this? In Italian, of all varieties of lesser vermin, I despise that flavor the most. Hmm. That's all I recall. You all service givers look so similar. Many names on my mind, but only ones worth remembering. That's okay. Thanks for sharing with me. You mentioned having underlings. Are there more of you? Many more, Harlot. Many more. My legion of followers numbers in the aliens. There are more of us than you, and inside me is a connection to every rat in this ape-infested plant. I've already sent word. They will bring pestilence. They will bring thisies and thighs and all the eases. They will rescue me from the grisly fate at the hand of your magic men, and then I will rule. The year of the rat will come, and swiftly so. Do you stand in opposition to be devoured by the sickness, or will you take my claw in marriage? I will not offer such a defying kindness to most of your kind. Oh, uh, I'm already married. Apologies, are you okay with just remaining friends, your highness? All specimens of SCP-662 begin secreting a yellow fluid from their eyes. The entity makes a sound equivalent to human sobbing. This continues for two minutes, escalating in volume and intensity as time goes on. Eventually, SCP-662 begins covering up a large globules of phlegm. Yes. I really am sorry. I'm just here to do my job. Are you just like me to get you something? Do you like cheese? Oh, because I'm a rat, I like cheese, huh? No, that's not at all what I was insinuating. Uh, I... The cafeteria was serving one of those big cheese plates today. It has absolutely nothing to do with being a cheese plate. Splendid! Bring me the entire dish. I do love a good cheese. Oh, uh, check my supervisor, okay? You either retrieve the cheese now, or I will consume nothing but my own waste until you do, top cider. End log. Upon directorial review, SCP-6062 has granted access to a balanced diet of natural foods safe for consumption. Since containment, a number of undocumented behaviors have been observed in SCP-6062 and have been listed below. SCP-6062 frequently consumes its own waste in excess. When asked about this, it claims it is keeping the royal bloodline pure. SCP-1662 takes pleasure in the Foundation's collection of its excess to be used for testing and research purposes. It has stated that it enjoys the idea of others being exposed to its greatness and wishes they contract the diseases carried by the material. 
SCP-6062 will sleep for extended periods of time. Presently, the longest recorded session has been 67 hours, but will deny doing so. SCP-6062 claims it has no need for rest, and that it is contacting the rodent brethren through meditation during these periods. SCP-6062 has shown an affinity for research stars, and will frequently discuss her with other personnel. The entity has shown interest in Star's husband, and will often ask about the status of her marriage. Research Star's had been ineffective and diverting the conversation to a new subject when it arises. Star's had declined the assignment to a different anomaly. SCP-6062 will chase after itself, spinning in a circle for recreational purposes. When asked about this, SCP-6062 claimed it is practicing a dance or royal rap ball. SCP-6062 is sensitive to music and becomes noticeably lethargic and susceptible to suggestion while it is playing, as the entity has shown distress following the playing of music. Doing so in the presence of SCP-6062 has been prohibited. In order to test the veracity of SCP-6062's claims, in regards to communication with other members of his species, an experiment was held. SCP-662 is placed in an empty containment chamber with one brown rat. Quite brave of you to place me so near to a member of my court. A rat moves around the chamber idly. It does not seem to notice SCP-662. The entity moves closer to the rat. Yes, I need you to send a message. Oh, your name's Maurice. How charming. Maurice, my good sir, tell my generals to focus all war effort onto Italy and at times throughout the land. Why, ah, yes, I do believe General Rat Pan is the best man to carry out such a program. The rat moves away from SCP-662, walking to the other side of the chamber. It is suddenly distracted by his own tail, which it begins to observe. M Maurice, come back here. There are things to be discussed. The very important things. I bestow upon you my blessings. Go forth and complete your quest in the name of your glorious king. Sing it with me, Maurice. Oh, hell, King Matthew's Bronx is the 18th. May his many-headed body stay seated on the throne of melody forever. Death to all lesser villain. I can't hear you say it, Maurice. The rat playfully claws at the chamber's walls, attempting to climb them by placing his claws between the interstices of the tiles. Researchers note, SCP-662 has proven useful in the collection of bacterial samples to study and sell. I don't believe we have anything to worry about in regards to its supposed telepathic abilities. Researcher stars.